Hello everyone. Welcome back to part two of feeding the lizard room. We have a little one going nuts over here. Well, not little, but oh, look, he's gonna. So anyway, uh, I didn't get to finish the room yesterday, and I'm gonna obviously finish it today, so it's still kind of a mess. But I did get the wall that my phone is on, which is this wall behind the camera, uh, pretty much done. So there's quite a few there, and uh, I have to do this side now because I didn't get to that side. So, and I got to this little section here. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot. But anyway, let me turn this around and I'll show you. So this side I did. <laughs> and I got stuff on the floor. So this side I did uh, this whole section. So going all the way up to all the way down and over and all the way up. So um, I did them. They're all done, clean and fed. Of course, my frogs need to be fed tomorrow because I'm picking up their crickets. And then I did all of these guys that goes all the way down past there. So I did all of them. Uh, and I did these guys. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I did all of them. So today, sorry about the fingers. Today I am working on all of these and all of those and those and then i will be putting back together the floor oh and i forgot all of and these two so i'll be doing them too all of these guys all the way down so i'll be putting everything back together so i just wanted to oh and here comes neato neato the kitty one of the kitties. So um, I just wanted to kind of show you. So today I'm going to be working on these guys. So most of the ones that are in here, again, are, um, this is the community bearded dragons. There's a couple there. Down on the bottom is a paralyzed iguana. And then we have uh, all males in these. So I have one, two, three, four, six, seven separated males. Uh, some of these guys are going up for adoption at the Vallejo uh, Reptile Expo. Uh, this month, July 20th and 21st, www.VallejoReptileShow.com. And I have um, two younger ones over here that'll be going up for adoption. I have some leopard geckos that'll be going up for adoption. I have a skink that'll be going up for adoption. Possible legless lizard, European legless lizard going up for adoption. A couple of Russian tortoises that'll be going up for adoption. And depending on their how they are, they seem to be extremely healthy. That was just rendered over today. Um, a couple of redfoots that will be going up for adoption, possibly, possibly. Very rare that I put them back up for adoption in a couple of weeks. They took good care of them. They just were. Oh, they're. I guess they're over it. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I'm gonna get started, and I'm gonna start getting these guys fed and getting everything in here like I always do, and then I'll come back. Uh, when I'm ready to feed a couple things and I'll come back and, and show you some feeding. So see you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm almost halfway through. Takes a little bit and it's super hot in here. So just opened up the window. But anyway, I wanted to kind of uh, show you because I know people are going to say, um, oh, there's no UVB lighting in there, blah, blah, blah. So there's two reasons why. One is it's summertime. So we take them outside as often as we can. Um, usually we try to get them out there two or three times during the week and we off everybody, meaning we switch them around. So we actually have outdoor cages that we have set up that are not directly in the sunlight, but are in the sun um, in some shade too. And we try to alternate everybody. So um, some of these guys actually have additional UVB lighting and that's because that they, they're really messed up or they have, you know, have had MBD. The other ones that don't have it through the summer, get it in the winter. So when we can get these guys outside, we get them outside and allow them to receive natural sunlight, which is better for them anyway than a fake UVB bulb. But we do get them outside. So I know there's going to be questions about that um, uh, because everybody does their, their style or their way different. We just do what works best for us as a rescue. So um, like I said, as you can see, there's UVB um, lighting that can be turned on, but we turn them on uh, in the winter months when it's required more because we can't get them out. So we normally don't get them out as often as we like in the winter as we do in the summer. 
So in the summer they get to go out and they do alternate. And that's kind of why it takes me so long to do stuff is because, you know, we, we try to give them the best, the, uh, you know, the best housing as possible. And next to the, you know, the most natural housing as possible. Whenever I can get out there, I'll, I'll get to be able to show sweat, sweat boots be able to show you, you know, that uh, some of the outdoor enclosures. So anyway, in the meantime, I've had a couple lights blow, so I need to pick up some basking bulbs tomorrow at East Bay Vivarium when I go out there to pick up my cricket order. Uh, so in the meantime, these guys are getting dubias and greens. Came a little bit of watermelon too, just because everybody likes watermelon. So uh, these guys are next over here. This section is next. And then probably in about another hour or so, I'll be done with this room and then I can actually clean uh, everything out. So just wanted to give a quick update just about the UVB lighting because I know there'd be questions. <laughs> so I wanted to nip that in the butt before it came. Okay, so this is actually the lizard room. So I'm going to show you as it's clean. So of course there's um, Elvis because he likes to come in and try to chase all of the critters. So this is um, that cage there that's on the floor are morning gec uh, the little morning geckos. They will be up for adoption in that entire enclosure at the expo. The bearded dragon on the bottom there will also be up for adoption at the expo. So this is uh, a little sample of this room. These are all the singled out male bearded dragons. This there's one way on the bottom needs a little work, but he'll be up for adoption. Um, these are my oscillated skanks. They are not up for adoption. I've had them for quite a while, but anyway, this guy is going to be up for adoption. These are uh, also, those are water dragons. We have the community bearded dragons. These are all, uh, we have a toke, a day gecko, another day gecko, a skunk gecko. And then there's uromastics in these, uh, Pete's banded, some uh, male and female blue tongues, some baby leopards. This guy, this bearded dragon will be up for adoption, but he's already been adopted and they're picking him up at the expo. Um, I have this bearded dragon will also be up for adoption. And so will this one at the expo. Then we have chameleon, cresteds, gargoyles, skinks, uh, chuckwalla, plated lizards. These are frogs and toads all through here. Different types, different kinds. Um, Australian whites are in there. I have another skink in there. These are all leopard geckos that will be up for adoption. Also, minus the one on the top that is being rehabilitated. Uh, this guy I have to show you. He's super, super cool. Um, he's one of my favorites. I am huge on loving toads and frogs. May not be able to see him very good, but this is Mr. Warts. I don't know if you can see Mr. Warts. Hi, Mr. Warts. If I turn the light on, you probably can see Mr. Warts. Um, so this is my hand. This is Mr. Wartz. Um, he doesn't get as big as a Pac-Man, but um, he's pretty impressive for a toad. Okay, so this is, um, I call him one eye because he has like one eye. I know it's kind of dark in here. I had to shut the lights down. It's just way too hot. But um, you see he's got one eye. Uh, what are you, full? He's like, where is it? Stop. Are you going to lick your butt? That's what a dog does. I've never seen it. Oh, he must be licking it off his butt. <laughs> okay, you going to eat? What are you going to eat? It's right in front of you. Oh, there he goes. See, that's the yum yums. There's the yum yums. Oh, he's like yummy, yummy. But anyway, so this is the room, and uh, this is Michael. Say hi, Michael. Michael is guarding my room. So this is what the um, lizard room looks like, everybody. So when you walk in here, uh, this is what you see, minus the stuff on the floor. So the stuff on the floor actually won't be there after the 20th because that stuff will be um, going to the expo. Well, some of it will be. So, again, everyone... I hope you enjoy a little piece of our home um, within the rescue. And I'm going to flip this over so you can see me. So I hope you all enjoyed uh, the video. I'm actually having a lot of fun making these. I'm glad I'm able to bring you guys kind of into our home. 
a lot of people get really like, oh my God, you guys have that many animals. They think that, you know, we live in a, in a hoard house or, you know, there's deer trails or it's, you know, ridiculously nuts. You know, I'm not going to say on a bad day that there's, you know, when, especially when I'm cleaning stuff on the floor or whatever, but, um, I'm very particular about how we keep our home because we do live here. So I kind of like being able to bring you guys into our home and see that it's not what you think it may be, especially because we live the rescue, that it's not what you may think in, in your mind, uh, you know, and I would think the same thing if somebody told me how many animals they had and it was that many and I would be like, holy crap, like really got to, I can't imagine what their house looks like. So uh, I'm glad that I'm able to kind of bring that to you guys and see what me and Joe do, that we really do live this rescue, um, you know, 24 seven, seven days a week. Uh, no vacations, no, you know, we try to get out with our friends once in a while and have a good time and do events and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, uh, you know, this is it. Glad I'm able to bring it to you a little bit and hopefully that you guys are enjoying. Again, please like and subscribe. It does help us in the end, uh, in the long run. You know, our, our goal is to get a facility where you guys can actually come and visit and see, you know, everything that we do and be able to handle some of the stuff and maybe even volunteer. We have a lot of people that want to volunteer, but unfortunately it is our private residence. So we don't have many volunteers because of that. Um, but it would be lovely to get volunteers and take a little bit of the weight off my own shoulder. So again, thank you very much. I appreciate everybody watching. Like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye.